Hey everybody, hope you're having a great and wonderful day. I know that I am. Um, something happened that I didn't think that was going to happen. Uh, I am actually getting a chance to open up Topps Holiday. Um, I don't know, I feel like a lot of the stories out there that these are super, super hard to find on the shelves. Um, and I had actually all but given up. I had spent, you know, multiple trips going into Walmart. I had uh, spent uh, a couple hours driving to a couple of Walmarts on one day and basically just said, when I see the empty shelves, I'm done. I'm, I'm going to give it, I'm giving up on trying to find these. So I thought I would just end up trying to buy some singles or some ones that I wanted. And then um, I got an email and an email popped up and it was from Walmart and it said, your item is back in stock. And I was like, okay, great. This is probably, because every time I went there, all you saw was the third partner um, uh, sales and they were like about $78 a box. Um, but uh, I was never, I don't pay, I'm not paying over, I'm not paying over the retail price. Um, so popped up, I jumped on the website and crazy, they were actually there. So I grabbed some boxes. I'm going to open up three of them for you today. Um, I love this set each and every year, but um, I pretty much have done, give it up on retail. Um, I, the process of trying to go to all these different Walmarts and Targets and 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 trying to find stuff on the shelves, like I, I'm pretty much like, I can go to my hobby shop and get anything, but this you can only get at Walmart. So we're going to go ahead and get open them up. I am really excited. I really, truly didn't think I was going to get any this year. Um, and this is one of my uh, favorite ones every year. I got my boys here hanging out with me. They might help me open up some packs so we can go just a little bit faster since we do have three boxes. Comes with an ornament. Uh, we got uh, Brendan McKay, rookie guard <laughs> ornament there. So that's the first thing that comes out of it. Uh, we've got 10 boxes. I'm sorry, 10 packs. If I can get this last pack out of here. Uh, we got 10 packs um, and 10 cards per pack. So we've got 100 cards we're going to get out of each box. 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, and 10. Uh, love the packaging on this. Love the box. Um, just so super cool. So let's get going. Let's see what we got. There's 200 cards in the base set. Um, um, each box will have an autograph or a relic in it. Um, nice one to start off right there with a Tatis Jr. Uh, I'm pretty sure since I'm a little late getting this out here, um, there's uh, you've probably seen the design already, but uh, that's what it looks like if you have not seen it. The back looks exactly like the 2020 version, uh, except it has some green and red on it. We're definitely going to be watching for some short prints and stuff like that. Uh, some metallics, which are kind of like they have, uh, they're kind of imprinted in there. There's an Adames. Um, what's that? Will Myers. Chavis. Oh, cool. Very, very cool. Right off the bat, uh, we have us an upside down uh, Boba Shett. Not 100% sure why it was upside down. 73. Oh my goodness. Are you kidding me? Does that say 73, you guys? It does, doesn't it? That yeah. is the super rare. Where do you where? This little number right down here. Does it say 73? So I don't understand. I don't see where it's where a super short print is. Oh yeah, there it is. I couldn't find it why it was a short print, but yes, he's wearing a necklace right there, but this is the 73. It ends in 73, so it's a super rare short print rookie card of Bo Bichette. Wow, what a first pack right there, boys. That is a good one. Man, that's awesome. Okay, so my luck is getting really, really good on these because, um, wow. Okay, uh, Kim, uh, Dubon, and Ravello. Wow, that was a good first. That was a good first hit right there, boys. I've seen a lot of these where they've got the, you know, the short prints in there, but they're the base short prints. I have not seen a super rare one. Wow. Uh, Kyle Lewis. Justin Verlander. Some other boxes that I had seen did not have the short print turned around. So that's why I was a little confused by that because... Um, 
other people that I've seen open their boxes, it wasn't a short print. So here's one of those ones. You're not going to really be able to see it on camera, uh, but it's got kind of stamped in right there. That's called their metallic. So we got a metallic of McBroom. We got a Hoskins, a Scherzer, Canning, Torres, and a Freed. And you guys will have to let me know if I miss anything. I think short prints come one every... Oh, wow. That super rare one is one in every 161 packs. Um, the other short print odds are one in seven for the short print, and rare is one in every 20. Um, wow. Metallic is in one in every two. So that's uh, that's what we'll be... Uh, we'll see a couple more of those. So very, very nice start to these boxes. Did not expect that. Matt Olson. We got us a Paul DeYoung right there. Uh, Tanaka. Oh, there's our relic. Uh, James Paxton uh, is our relic in the first box. Uh, New York Yankee pitcher. There's what the backs of those look like right there. Um, I think these are really, really nice looking. I just not a big Yankees fan or not a big James Paxton fan, so I'm not super excited about that one. <laughs> um, wow, okay. I'm still can't get over that Boba Shet. Super rare short print. Uh, Hesta, Martinez, and Puck. All right, guys, open a pack. There you go. This could be the lucky pack. Could be a lucky pack. Yeah, so we're going to be looking, since we got our hit, we'll be looking for more of those metallics and some more short prints. We've got us a nice uh, Trent Grisham um, rookie card there. Tim Anderson, Means, uh, Votto, Anderson. Clevenger. Ooh. Grinky. Got another upside down one. Cool. Awesome. Nice Javier Baez. We'll pull this pack in real quick. So it looks like he has... Where I, That's, I guess, some of the fun, too. Oh, there's snow on the ground. And even though they don't really play in snow. So let's see what this one is. I expect this one... See, this one is in, in 71. So it's just a short print. Uh, so, yes, that's pretty cool. So, yeah, that's a, just a regular short print of Javier Baez. See, I told you it was the lucky pack. I think half of it. Well, we didn't look at the rest of them, though, Owen, so hold on, bud. Uh, so, we had a Mookie Betts, Swanson, Davis, the regular Baez. So, you can see right there that there's grass and dirt there in the bottom. Uh, yeah, what I was getting to, Trey Turner, Tucker, uh, Sinzel, Castro, and that's where we stopped. Um some of the most fun parts about all this is looking for what makes it a short print. That's why I really like this. They've done, you know, I was getting really bored with the 2020 version. I think you probably heard that if you've watched some videos before me, uh, with me. Um, but I really like when they put a little something here, it makes it extra, the stuff in the background, and then just the, the uh, short prints that you can look for, um, uh, make this a fun, fun product to open up. Rodriguez, Braun, Eddie Rosario, who is, going to move and be on a different team there's beaver there's another uh metallic right there of alex young we got us a ronald acuna jr an aquino rookie um urena sorvino and mitch hanniger all right here you go guys and i'll open up these last two here so we got us a McKay rookie, Wong, Aaron Judge, Nick Solak, Benatini, who actually has been a lot of conversation the last couple of days about him getting traded from Boston. And I guess Boston, uh, I don't really know truly what they're doing. They're getting rid of all their players. They still have this guy right here, Raphael Devers, who... Uh, started really picking it up at the end of the season. Uh, there's Sean Murphy, rookie. Uh, really good catcher. I think uh, he'll do really well. There's a nice Mike Trout. There's a Diaz, rookie, and a Buster Posey. So we got Moustakis, Stanton, LeMahieu, who is uh, still kind of out there. Um, pretty much the Yankees, not sure exactly. Okay, thank you. Um, one of the Yankees, uh, uh, pretty much can't imagine the Yankees um, letting him go, but uh, they do. He is saying he's getting a little bit of interest from some other teams, but I think the Yankees will pretty much uh, match that, um, whatever price tag some other team gives him. Nice Donaldson, who was the big 
free agent last year, one of the big free agents last year. Kevin Biggio, Elvis Andrews, uh, Aaron Nola, <clears throat> Ramirez, McNeil, Fraley. There's a George Springer. That's a metallic one. Mr. Mitt Whit Merrifield, I think that he plays in Kansas City and doesn't get a lot of uh, love, but uh, the guy can hit. He is awesome and um, enjoy watching him play baseball. Um, but the Kansas City get a little better, you know, signing, actually being one of the few teams that are be out there being aggressive. Cabrera, and then a, there's a nice Garrett Cole right there. Garrett Cole got wrapped up in uh, kind of controversy with all the uh, stuff. If you haven't heard about it, the uh, uh, sticky substance that was going on to his hands and um, put in like a text or something like looking for, uh, <laughs> there's nice, the original Boba Shet, um, put in a text that, uh, he was looking for the good stuff, and then uh, <laughs> the Angels trainer, whoever the guy was making it, uh, is um, got in trouble and kind of released names of a lot of the players that were using it. So I don't know exactly know where that's going to go, but uh, we'll see. Um, there's Springer, who is another big free agent that's out there, kind of sitting there with Trevor Bra ba Brower, <laughs> Trevor Bauer, and. Um, And uh, what you doing, Bob? I was just looking through it. Uh, Trevor Bauer as uh, the two top free agents. And uh, I think a lot of, you know, I think maybe the Mets will still go after him. Um, obviously, we haven't talked since the uh, Francisco Lindor uh, trade, but uh, that was a huge, huge trade. We got a, speaking of George Springer, we got a George Springer uh, ornament there. All right, put that over there. And then we'll get going on this second box. So I will say that that first box, I don't know if anything's going to beat it. You know what? Let me take one second. I'll be right back. All right. So I went and looked this up and um, it's about, it, uh, we had one sell for $96. Um, that's about the only one that's really sold. Uh, there's another one on there on eBay right now for uh, 135 um, So yeah, really, really, really good hit there. Um, I don't know why this isn't sitting way I want it to. There we go. Well, it's still got a little wobble in it. But uh, really, really nice, awesome Boba Shett card. Uh, that, that's, did not expect that. So let's get back to it. We got a Sozuna, Tatis, Trey Mancini. This is, oh, oh and they're right there off the bat. Uh, maybe I should flip these over and make this our last one. So there's a Josh Hader. There's our relic uh, uh, for this um, uh, box right here. Uh, Josh H H Hader, a lot of talk about him maybe being moved, but uh, I don't know why you'd move somebody uh, that awesome. Here you go, guys. So super stoked about that Boba Shed, man. Wow. That stuff does not ha really happen to me. Um, so that was really cool. It's one of the better hits I think I've ever pulled, and especially without it being a, a, like maybe a numbered card or anything um so we're seeing a lot there's only 200 cards in the set got a bryce harper so my son's stoked because he got a bryce harper that he knows will be coming his way we need to find a yadier molina i don't know i think he's in this i'm you know that'd be a great thing to go look up real quick um uh, nathan look through that uh thing this right here see if you can see yadi's name um, so let's get back to this, uh, Tanaka. Oh, we got another short print here of Mr. Jose Barrios. He's throwing a snowball. If you guys can see that, uh, I'm going to go out on a limb. Yep. And just say, this is just a regular short print, but still awesome. Awesome card. Okay. That's fine, bud. I was just, whoop, just seeing if there was one in here. I wasn't sure if Yachty was in this or not. Um, Polanco, Blackman, uh, Springer. Like I said, we're starting to see a lot of the same cards because of, uh, there's only 200 cards. There's our second Beau Bichette. There's the Bryce Harper right there for my son. Oh, look at that. He even got a metallic one. Ooh, fancy. <laughs> Kim, Dubon, and Ravello. I don't think there is. No, I know there is a Trevor Store, though. Yes, I'm, if I don't get at least one Trevor Story, I'm going to be uh, really annoyed since I've got a whole bunch of doubles here now. 
Davis, Baez, Grisham again, Aquino, Hanager, and all. So we're starting to see lots and lots of doubles. Uh, I'm hoping that third box that I've got is kind of uh, going to be a little bit more mixed up. This pack, we haven't seen these guys yet. Zach Collins, Mendick, uh, Blake Snell, who is part of the Padres now. Uh, Fardo, there's a nice uh, Dakota Hudson, who's going to be out this year with uh, Tommy John surgery. I'm um, not really sure when he's scheduled to be back, but um, he was such a good pitcher. Really a nice uh, ground ball pitcher. And then Brousseau. But uh, really looking forward to baseball coming. Um, it's coming up soon. You know, uh, February, um, there, you know, the commissioner came out and said, oh, there we go. There's a nice Yadier Molina. I thought I had seen him in here. So that'll go right over to my youngest, <laughs> right over there. Ursula, Angora, Lindor, they're the new New York Met. Um, but I was saying is that uh, the commissioner came out and said uh, baseball and spring training are all going to start on a time and that uh uh we're gonna play 162 games we like i'm gonna do it but we're the baseball is gonna play 162 games try to get the regular full season in so i'm super excited about that um this is gonna be i i can't imagine anything else but this will be the last 2020 product that i finally get to uh, not open, you know, finally done with 2020 product after this. Um, looking forward in about, what, three or four weeks for uh, Tops Series 1 2021 card. So that'll be, that'll be my first 2021 cards that'll be coming. I wonder... Oh, no, maybe I didn't miss the short print. Got two more packs in this box. Um, no, this will be a little bit of a longer video just for the fact that, uh, we've got, uh, so many boxes, but I really appreciate you guys hanging out and checking this out with me. So nothing there. And then we got our last one. So I'm really hoping for a nice relic or auto, which would be really cool. Kyle Lewis or, uh, another, um, short prints. Boy, there's a he's a metallic. Another Mike Trout. Diaz, uh, Posey, Reese Hoskins, and Max Scherzer. So let's go to box number three. Um, and let's see what this box has to hold. We've we had over how many packs did you say you were? There's 10 packs per box. So how many we've opened? Two boxes? 300. 200 cards. 300 that we have. Very good. The professional math guy. All right, so what I'm going to do is I'm going to take these few and put it in the back because I feel like we keep getting our relic right off the bat. And who wants that? So there's Mr. Mike Trout wearing a Santa hat or a. <laughs> um, a top hat? Obviously, uh, uh, photoshopped on, I am sure. So we got Mr. Kyle Schwarber, Mr. Cody Bellinger, who, man, I love that dude, how he plays. He's awesome. Uh, Makata, at least we're seeing some different players, so this is really, really nice. Juan Soto, who is doesn't get talked about enough. I mean, I know he's, he's just probably the best young hitter there is in baseball right now. Nice Jack Flaherty there off the Cardinals. Porcello, and then another Soto in the exact same pack. So let me, that was weird. I, yeah, here he is. Because I know there are sometimes short prints that are not. That one's metallic. Ah, that's what it is. Good eyes. Yep. So we got the metallic one and then the non-metallic one. So very, very cool. Good eyes, Owen. Also, that one's gleaming and the other one's. Boom. Another pack for you. Another pack for you. That's what I deserve. That's what you deserve for saying that. I think we should keep these. No. Never any bags. No. No. I don't know. Shane Bieber, Betts, like our third Betts, our third Swanson, Davis, Baez, Aquino, Arena. This is uh, pretty much the same as we've seen a couple of times. Ooh, that's updated. DeYoung, Tanaka, Braun. I I'm going to tell you. So I PC, my number one PC guy is Trevor Story. 
And if I can't get a Trevor Story base card in three boxes and I've got triples and doubles, I'm just going to be like, what? what is going on here? I, <laughs> he just avoids me so much. It's crazy. So we got Otani. Chris Bryant, who is uh, lots of talk about him, thought he would get traded this weekend. Um, lots of teams he's connected to, Washington and uh, the Dodgers. And um, yeah, so it's... I could see him probably not going to be in a Cubs uniform uh, by the time the season starts, but we'll see. Andowar, Josh Bell, Kevin Newman, Paddock Rogers. There's a Alvarez. There's a first Alvarez rookie we've gotten. Rios, Grisham, Anderson. All right, means we've got this run before Votto, Pools. You just Trey, missed, uh, what? Metallic. Oh, Metallic, yep. They're really hard to see. Senzel, Castro, and Grinky. All right, so we got about five more packs. Like I said, thanks for everybody for hanging out with the last 2020 product. I was, like I said, I am so stoked about that I got some of these to open them up. I really, truly, we got a short print coming up. Um, did not expect to get it. So oh, nice Cody Bellinger short print. So let's look for what makes it a short print. Uh, Wait a Oh, he's got an ornament hanging from his bat. Good eye, good eye. So this is uh, 71, so it's just another regular short print, but still very, very cool. Nico Horner, Rizzo, Smith, and Crawford. Okay, I think the only thing that would make this good is that I can get a Trevor Story. Um, lots of talk on the radio today about, um, and this would be a dream come true, is uh, Trevor Story and just that his name is being mentioned around, you know, the Cardinals. And I know if tons of other teams would want him, um, but man, I, how I stoked I would be to get my PC guy on my favorite team would be absolutely amazing. Um, but one thing that I can't seem to do is pull his card. <laughs> we've, we've, uh, like I said, my son did the math. We are almost close to 300 cards. I got two more packs after this and, uh, still haven't seen them. That's a cool one too. Lo love Tommy Edmond. Uh, it looks like he's going to maybe probably be our second baseman uh, starting the season. But I did hear a lot about talk about maybe uh, Tommy, uh, uh, not Tommy, uh, Wong coming back and playing second base. But we'll see how that goes. But I really like Tommy Wong. Here's our Brandon Crawford. So our <sighs> relics, that's usually what happens in these boxes. The relics are not the greatest in the world. Um, seems to be pretty uh, hard to pull um, some really, really good players or anything like that. There's a uh, Eloy Jimenez, I think is just an underground and not so underground, but doesn't seem to get a lot of the conversation is, you know, obviously Luis Robert, but the guy is a beast the guy is awesome. There's low and a Matt Chapman. It's very, very nice right there. Mm -hmm. Two more packs. Come on. Can I, open one? <laughs> Can I? I'm going to open up the last two, bud. Um, so I really, truly, oh, there we go. Well, that was one guy we just talked about and we hadn't gotten was a Luis Robert. Kind of forgot about him. Uh, not the biggest Luis Robert, uh, like collector in the world, but, uh, it's always nice to grab his card just because it's, uh, really nice there. Nice. Awesome one there. Come on. I need a Trevor story. I cannot believe I'm going to go through three boxes and not get a Trevor story. Uh, Smith, Nemo. Bradley Jr. and Luzardo. And here we go. Come on, let's go. That That is the thing that really, it is so funny. Like, I'll go, like, I'll tell you something. I was collecting Cody Bellinger's for a little bit. And then I realized, man, he is out of my price range. Didn't really, you know, it just kind of was. And then as soon as I said, you know what? I'm not going to PC Bellinger. He's just too much. Uh, I'm going to kind of, you know, you know, this is a while back. And now all I do is pull Cody Bellinger. So now that I want... Um, <laughs> all right, this is at least different. This is different pack. Come on, guys. Come on, man. Sale. Got another short print. Uh, what makes this a short print, guys? Can you see it? Oh, there's a player right there. Oh, it's icy background, snow background. I bet you this would just be a regular short print at 71. No, there's also a guy. Well, on... buddy, that's just a player sliding. Uh... Yeah, that's just a player sliding. Into second base, where he happens to be. Another Bryce Harper. Another Bryce Harper, the regular Bryce Harper. Oh, there's another guy I hadn't really thought about, Mr. Randy Arozarena. So we have gotten everybody, and this is the funny part. Oh, is it going to be the last one? Nope. 
absolutely hilarious that I can go through all of those packs, 300 packs, and I still didn't, 30 packs or 300 boxes, uh, three boxes, sorry, my kids are doing everything around me and it's making me not talk. So I will obviously say that the biggest hit I cannot complain is this Mr. Bo Bichette super rare uh, rookie card. Uh, that is absolutely awesome. We got some other short prints. We got the Correa. A short print, got a nice Robert there. Our hits, uh, Brandon Crawford. We got a short print here of Cody Bellinger. Um, we got a short print of Berrios. Got a so Josh Hader. Short print, Baez. Uh, James Paxson, and that's it. So, guys, thank you so much for watching, sticking out through the whole video. I uh, hope you enjoyed that as much as I did opening it up. And I will see you later. And uh, thank you very much. Talk to you later. Bye.